Let's go. <clears throat> Tell you what, boys. <clears throat> There's so many advantages to just going hard. But you don't, you won't know all the advantages until you do it. For instance, you know, I turned it up this morning, went pretty hard for a good minute. Um, I wanna say two hours, I'm not sure exactly what time it is, to be honest. Cause I lose track of time when I'm working out. I fucking love it. That's the definition of flow state. When you lose track of time, you're just going. <laughs> Anyways, for instance, I live in Indiana. It's about, my car says it's 33 degrees right now. Not that cold. But it felt freezing this morning. Obviously, it's going to warm up a little bit in the morning time. Uh, within a couple hours it's gonna warm up a little bit cause now the sun's peeking out but it hasn't changed that much what changed was my blood flow my my body core temp has increased drastically I fucking feel it in the morning when I get to work every morning Everybody else is freezing, got their fucking bibs on, and I'm wearing a sweatshirt. Like, just a sweatshirt, homie. And they're wearing their coat, sweatshirt, a coat, long sleeve, they got three fucking layers on, and then their coat. Like, I literally have a shirt tucked in and a sweatshirt on. Homie. I need less than y'all. I've always needed less. You know? Like, dog. I'm not fucking perfect, all right? I'm 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 not even shooting for perfect, but I'm shooting for my ideal, my idea of perfect. Will I ever get there? No. Because I'm always going to find a new level to challenge myself. And the reason I'm like this, because I've failed so many times, because I've gone without so much. Dog. I used to sleep on a fucking egg crate. I used to sleep on a fucking air mattress. I used to only have a fucking toaster oven to make food. I used to fucking literally have to heat up my house with a goddamn wood burn stove. I used to be the motherfucker to start the fire every morning. The youngest brother. I used to be the motherfucker who'd always get his ass beat, no matter what. The odds have always been against me, but it molds you. Either creates a villain or a hero, and you decide. I blame my genetics. My last name obviously comes from my dad. And I have the most of my dad in me. Obviously, you're a 50-50 split of your mom and your dad. But I like to believe that I got more of the good from my father. It might have been from my fucking mother. I don't fucking know. It doesn't really matter. Either way, I physically look the most like the Caldwells. And... Incidentally enough, I act the most like the Caldwell. So it kind of just is together there. So I blame my genetics. Caldwells are alpha. They are winners. Usually the youngest, <clears throat> if you notice will be highly talented. And it, it's a trend. But I believe that trend is because the odds are against us. 
The odds are against us, and we have a secret. We have a secret agenda, a secret like competition. We don't even say it, it, it's almost like they don't know. The older brothers don't know. The older siblings don't know. But you're fighting for the most approval from the parents. You're fighting for the most achievement in life and success. And there's just something that just creates that dog in you, you know? <clears throat> I do my best not to define myself on my lows, Wes Watson says, and I really hope you all can do the same. You know, I, I wake up in the morning just fucking sore as fuck and just... Looking for a reason why I'm so tired and blah, blah, blah. It's because I go hard there all day. And that stacks up. Especially when I'm on the road. I go hard all day. Like, I wake up in the morning time. I go to the gym. I've been going to the gym. Before that, I wake up 5 o'clock on the dot. Go hard. Eat. Try to eat twice. Literally, I try to eat twice. Just free breakfast at a fucking hotel. Come on. Uh, uh. Now, long story short, I really don't stop moving. I really hold myself accountable. It's been a couple years now. I've been holding myself accountable. And that's the thing. I really... I really need everyone that watches this to do is hold yourself accountable. If you're expecting uh, the people around you to constantly be on your ass and constantly want better for you and blah, 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 they're not going to, bro. They're not. They don't care as much as you think about you winning. They care about them winning. Like you, I have seen it myself even. People like you more when you're not challenging them. You don't even have to like physically, like, like, like blatantly come out and challenge them. It's, it's like, uh, okay, he's doing a lot better in his life. He's growing like every day and changing and finding new ways to grow. People aren't just going to sit there and watch that and not think anything about it. Like, what Like what do you do? And, and I always put it in perspective of myself. Think of myself, how I look at other people. Okay. I see a dude with a Lamborghini. I don't care if his dad gifted him that Lamborghini. I'm still pissed off. And I'm like, God damn it. Why don't I have a fucking Lamborghini, God dang I deserve a fucking Lamborghini, you know, or whatever. Obviously, I don't deserve a Lamborghini or else I'd have a fucking Lamborghini. But I'm thinking, what do I do? What can I do to get a fucking Lamborghini? You think people aren't fucking looking at you like, oh, shit, this dude's gotten swole as a motherfucker. And I'm still the skinny old fucking halibut titty having ass that I was last year. The worst place you could be is where you were last year. I hate to say it. Oh, I love to say it, actually. Let me, let me Just fucking sound like my dad right there. Uh, nah, straight up. I'm telling you what, people. Get in the fucking gym because it, like, puts you on the level playing field. It's like, okay, I might not be there, but I'm trying but I'm working. Like, once you start putting in the effort, so much insecurity goes out the window. Like, so much, bro. Like, you need to get in the fucking gym or something. Get in the fucking dojo. Something. Because once you start applying yourself, a lot of your insecurities and shortcomings can kind of just be put to the wayside. I mean, I hate... I mean... That's just part of it. 
it, it's so fucking true. It's crazy. You know, I, I still compete with other guys, but I'm able to let it go within minutes because as I get in my head, I start to say, it's not even getting, you know, you, you, you kind of, I kind of do guide myself mentally into thinking and saying, okay. I mean, I always just find a way I'm better than him. Like, oh, he might, he might be a little stronger than me, but he doesn't have abs. <laughs> I swear. That's just the shit I do. Like, okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. This dude, you know, his arms are bigger, but it's cause he, that's fat. I mean, I don't see any bicep vein. Like, for real, for real. <laughs> I always find a way. And when I when I was skinny, I was like, all right, these fools are bigger than me, but they ain't as tough as me. I'm still the toughest motherfucker in here. I'm still the hardest worker in here. I'm like, man. I know we're all going to be slightly different. But I truly do believe, like, like you could not convince me it would take a lot of, you couldn't convince me that we are not all connected on a spiritual plane. Like you cannot convince me that we're not all living the same life. You just haven't, it just in a different sequence. It just, reactions are different. Things like that. But we are all, like you might not be in homie's shoes, but you will be, or you were last year. And so what I mean by that is it's in us all. It's in us all to be the best version of ourselves. Like I see it in other people when they're just putting their full effort into it and their eyes are lighting up and their bodies fucking turning red from just brrr. but but there's just something that glows about them that they're in their zone and everyone needs to be in their zone as much as possible throughout a day like if you're not striving to be in your zone if you're not striving to be better then you're actually regressing it just effort creates so much reason to live it just does, man. When you have a reason you want to wake up every morning, there's just, your your life changes, man. I'm just going to keep breaching this shit. I ain't folding on this. I told y'all, I'm making a video every day and I'm doing it. For y'all. I just, I want to build like a community of people that just holds each other accountable and just continues to grow. Like, I know that there's people out there that are just like me, but they don't know what to do. They don't. And trust me, I don't even know what to do half the time to keep elevating myself or, or to what to put my effort in that's the best option right then. I don't, but <clears throat> I do something and, and, and I rack my brain and I, and I scour the fucking web and I listen to podcasts and all these things, you know, there's, there's a time of growth and then there's a time of, uh, regression. There's, there's contraction and expansion phases that you have to go through. Just one of those things. And the more we can connect, the less we have to go through that contraction phase. You know? There's definitely people out there that are experiencing the same things that I am. And that is, you know, I just don't have that many people that are like me, around me. I'm like a lone wolf out here. And people hate me for fucking the things I say, like, you know, talking about haters and shit like that. What the fuck is that, dude? Oh. 
But they're the fucking haters, though. Fuck, I love you guys. I'm out.